Who's flipping my flapjacks while we're listening to Jeremy's song? And doing a discounted cash flow on Zillow. Boop, 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 boop. Jack Johnson stock. All right, yep, we're back. That's enough of that nonsense. But I'll probably start some of my videos like that from now on. Anyways, we're talking about Zillow stock. And this is a company... I don't really, I don't, I'm just not going to lie to you. I don't have any confidence in you in it. At 160 PE ratio, I'm out. There's so much better stuff to look at. Call me when you drop to a normal price to earnings ratio. It's got a $24 billion market cap right now. Now, let's go over here. This is another reason I'm out on it. Look at these earnings per share. Again, call me when you have uh positive earnings per share for a while the free cash flows are all over the place i took this from everything money i'm not going to show you their software sorry you want it buy it they worked hard on it this is different prices that zillow could be trading at were it trading at an appropriate price to earnings ratio uh, over here on the high side we're looking at a 21 dollars stock i mean maybe you could stretch it to 40 or even 50 if you could justify with these just massively increasing cash flows. That's not my way. So you're looking at, it should be doing about 1.2 billion in free cash flow. And see this year is an outlier because I think it's due to, it's due to uh, the housing market boom, right? This is what it would actually be doing is 552 billion times 20. You have an $11 billion market cap ranging all the way down to a $7 billion market cap if you were using a multiple of 14. Come down here, one of my favorite way to quickly eliminate a stock, because it's just really easy math, is your gram number. You get that by calculating your a square root 22.5 earnings per share times 22.5 earnings per share times book value. Its book value is $22. So we're getting a we're getting a gram number of 17. It's a fair value of about $17.39. Guru Focus is saying $11.98 and $8.56. Now, let's go look at our own numbers cuz you don't want to just buy a stock, a stonk because somebody told you to. Now, what I did here is I ran the most, because of the, the way the free cash flows are, I just have to guess in here what it's going to do. But I was extremely generous with this stock at 10% growth for the next 10 years, 17, 25, 35, and you must be flipping my flapjacks at 40%. Now, if we come here, under the rosiest of rosy assumptions that it's trading at a 35 PE ratio and it did 40% earnings per share growth over the past 10 years. Good luck with that. 20% discount rate. You're looking at $75. Some people will tell me that's too big of a discount rate. Stocks can and do become irrational. Like this one is irrationally overpriced. I want to find a stock that's irrationally underpriced. I have tax advantaged accounts to max, so I buy very few individual stocks. You're looking at $75 in the best case scenario. In what is even a good case scenario for Zillow at this point, you're looking at a $9 stock. $49 in, uh, in uh, 2031 discounted back, even if we discount this back at 10%. You're looking at a $20 stock. I, I mean, that's almost five times under what it is trading at. Now, if you use a 17 or a 15% discount rate, okay, and it grows at 40% a year, you're looking at, it'll be worth $433 in 2031. You're looking at a $107 stock. But as soon as we start getting to reasonable price to earnings ratio, 
this just becomes a you're flipping my flapjack stock. And uh, I don't know how you could actually justify it. But here we go with that. Um, here it is at 15. These are the averages that they would be if you just averaged all of the 20% discount and the 15% discount rate together because you can't get a good idea of what the stock's going to do. But you're looking at 40% growth rate per year to get a 20% return on $233. You'd need to pay $43 for it. 35. When we're down here at a 15% discount rate, 40% growth per year, it's the, the numbers just aren't working. Let's see if you go to 10%. We already did that, but I mean, at a relatively decent price to earnings ratio, if you discount it back, 11% is still $82. And, you know, the final way, this is, what this is, is um, the averages. I messed that up because it was supposed to add them. That one's multiplied. But anyways, we'll get to that later. But over here, just a little quick different way to look at it is under the rosiest of rosy assumptions, Under the rosiest of rosy assumptions, 40% growth rate per year. If you were to multiply the earnings per share times the shares outstanding, you'll get a $53 billion market cap, $206 per share, and a $33.37 .33 stock price today. And I'm definitely not flipping your flapjacks there. It's just numbers, man. Um, the 160 price to earnings ratio should be the first clue. So whatever, if you like Zillow and you wanna do further research, that's on you. But I there's 10,000 stocks in the world. I have to have a metric to weed other ones out. This is just one of the ways I do it. Honestly, I'm repeating myself at this point, but I'd be out at 160 PE ratio. So I'll stop flipping your flapjacks. If this makes sense to you, then if it makes sense to you that it's gonna grow at 40% a year and you still wanna buy it at the price today, I don't know what to tell you. Start shaving your butt crack because you're gonna be down at the truck stop in retirement.